it was just devastating. We didn't think we were gonna be able to play this year. And out of hundreds of messages, one stood out from Virtue. And he just said, let's see if we can make something happen. We're all well, best friends. We're, all, we're probably the one team that all lives right here. If it would have folded out of quit, stay home dad. It's all about playing with all your best friends. Ryan, too. I'm planning on winning. Well, I mean, we no, got you guys guys. Win, like we got Give me the opportunity. I'm ready. But I was born ready, though. My mom told me that, so you know how it goes. I was on the phone to Jason and he was like, we don't have no money to, to make it happen. I said, well, whatever I gotta do to help you guys, I'm all in. One thing that made me like really want to step up was to keep paintball alive in Florida, because once we died, I don't think there would have been another Florida pro team. I don't think anyone was ready to step up, so it'd be nice to like bring in some youth. I know I saw uh, the Lewis kid here. Lewis is trying I out. I saw another guy. Kyle Barry's trying out. They're both, they're both quick, they're both pretty good. It was really, really awesome for me to see the guys on the team say, well, you know, we really appreciate all you've done and we're going to try to put this thing together uh, on our own. And I said, hey, you know, I'm there to support you like I always have. If you guys can get something together, a package together, I'm definitely going to be there to kind of fill in the blanks and make sure you guys can get over the hump. You're just going to have to continue to earn your, your keep. Um, if it doesn't work out, everything's coming back because we are on a low budget, but you guys both seem extremely hungry and as long as you do as we say, and you help us and we help you. I mean, I don't see there being any issue long term. Fuck yeah, thank you guys. Cool. Seriously, thank you. It's almost like going back to our roots. Don't have as big of a budget. Every decision is, you know, a team decision now too. It's really just hanging out with your buddies and playing paintball. And then not even your buddies, your best friends. I've played with the same people since I was probably 16 years old. Us being able to stick together is huge. Tampa Bay Damage is one of the last iconic professional teams of the modern paintball era. They reside as one of the most successful teams in PSP history. Damage was founded in 2006 by CJ Botsalas, who dreamt of building a world-class professional paintball team based in Florida. The timely demise of both Strange and Docks Raiders a year later meant an influx of local talent and the Damage franchise gained momentum. A tight-knit group of friends with varying lifestyles and stories outside of paintball, Damage retained the ability to consistently compete at the highest level year after year. Damage is always a top contender in the Pro Division, winning or placing in the top three 19 times in professional PSP events alone. Flashback to the 2014 World Cup, the final and most important event of the year. Damage was undefeated in their first five matches, but in the final game was devastated by Art Chaos in an uncontested 0-7 defeat to end their season. And Fedorov gets his gun to the sky. And what an amazing performance. 7-0. Shellacking of Tampa Bay damage. Unreal for a PSP World Cup Final. Losing like this is unheard of for damage, especially in the finals. Damage finished second overall both at World Cup and in the series, but a cloud of uncertainty hung over their future with industry support and financing as yet unsecured. To make matters worse, immediately after World Cup, long-time damaged players Chad Boussier and Keith Brown leave the team for Edmonton Impact and Dalton Vanderbilt returns to Dynasty. As the players readied themselves for the 2015 season, their collective world fell apart. News swiftly spread across paintball and social media. Damage was no more. We received a text message from Joey Blute just saying the team's over. CJ just sent me a text. It's 15 pages long, basically explaining that we won't have a team any longer. 
Uh, I tried everything I could. I couldn't get the budget to work. So, you know, best of luck, you know. So immediately I was a little like heartbroken. I stopped looking at the text. I put my phone down and I continued to work a little bit. Came back to a dead phone. You know, got home, charged it. Realized I had hundreds of messages between the guys on the team, Facebook, everything in the world. It was just devastating. We were in a position where we didn't think we were going to be able to play this year. My younger brother being 19, he took it really hard. So. I'm telling him, we'll find a way, we'll find a way to make it work, whether we had to end up going to another team, et cetera, we would stay together and we'd play together. So then I started scrolling through all the Facebook messages and out of hundreds of messages, one stood out really clear and it was from Chris Williams from Virtue. And he just said, let's see if we can make something happen. And I just stopped scrolling. We started exchanging messages back and forth. And from there, I just say, we got the ball rolling. It just took a lot of determination and a lot of teamwork to get all the pieces together. And I went back and talked to CJ and Dana Basically told them the guys still really, really want to play. If there's any possible way that you guys could help, we would truly appreciate it. You know, we won't do anything out of the ordinary. We don't want to see the team die, basically. You know, we're not ready for it yet. After about eight years of doing this, it was kind of time for me. I hadn't been able to play as much over the past couple of years, and I had a business that I was still trying to run and had a young kids at home. For me, it was just time to make a change in life. So I was uh, in a position or at a stage in my life where I had to say, hey, you know, this wasn't going to work out for me anymore. And it was really, really awesome for me to see the guys on the team say, well, you know, we really appreciate all you've done and we're going to try to put this thing together uh, on our own. And I said, hey, you know, I'm there to support you like I always have. If you guys can get something together, a package together, I'm definitely going to be there to kind of fill in the blanks and uh, make sure you guys can get over the hump. Ended up working everything out and I mean it was fast. <laughs> we worked it out really really fast but we kept the team alive and I think we're in a better situation now than we actually used to be. My first set of bios. Oh, Rash, you didn't put these on yet? They smell good. They smell new. So I picked the color that looks the most like fire. Doing my fireman thing, I gotta have a fireman gun. Really excited for this year. Got the, the clone. Fun. I would say it was one of the most surprising moments to see the guys on the team act like it was their first time playing paintball again. Like, people were beyond excited, telling me every day, like, well, when we get them, is there any way we can get the gear ASAP? Like, I can't wait to play. And that's things that Damage hasn't said in a long time. It used to almost be like, oh man, the season's already here again. This time around, it was like, so when do we get to practice? Can we do a two a day? You know, should we get out there early? Is there any way we can do drills during the week, et cetera? And, I think everyone was even more excited to just try new gear and be on like a whole new fresh start. Without a doubt, it's definitely a lot more exciting now because you realize that, uh, I mean, it sucks playing with strangers, to be honest with you. Like, uh, we're actually, we all live near each other, we all hang out with each other on the weekends, the off weekends, we all know each other's family, so it's really just hanging out with your buddies and playing paintball. And not even your buddies, your best friends. I've played with the same people since I was probably 16 years old. We all made sacrifices. They all could have made money playing paintball for other teams, but we chose to stick together and, you know, stay blue collar. And that's probably the easiest way to stay. You have just enough sponsorship, you're working just so hard enough just to get by. You're not actually getting a whole lot of, you know, there's not a financial incentive. Don't have as big of a budget as we had before, obviously. Every decision is, you know, a team decision now, too. So the only incentive is to win. It's going to be a little bit different without having, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. someone separate, not a player. You might uh, manage the team. We're pretty much managing the team by ourselves, but with Jason taking the, the bulk of it. So it's going to get stressful at some point, but. You know, whatever you guys just gonna understand, that's the deal. Just stay together. I mean, I like everything and everything that happened, and especially how fast it happened. So, it definitely came together really freaking quick. <laughs> cool. Well, I mean, yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. who do all we have? I know I saw uh, the Lewis kid here. Lewis is trying I out. I saw another guy. Kyle Barry's trying out. We have seven, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to grab two. I mean, we'll see what they do, but. Well, if, even if someone's picked up, you know, it's not for sure all throughout the year. It's just the tournament's approaching really right, fucking right. quick. Since you guys are all here real quick, yeah, I just yeah, like to say just, yeah. you know, definitely I mean, we're super happy yeah. that we could make this happen. That's why we came down this weekend. We just yeah. want, want you guys to know that we support you. Yeah, I know. Um, you know, we're, we're obviously not here with like huge budgets. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you know, we want to make sure you guys have everything that you guys need to win. I'm Chris. Yeah. This is Mike. Hey. Anything you guys need, you know, you know, we can help out whatever you guys need, obviously, at the events. 
you know, we're gonna take care of you as best as we can. We'll have food there, drinks there, whatever you need, you come back in the booth, we'll take care of you guys. Um, so, you know, I know Pops has always, you know, done a lot of that too. So Pops, you know, we we'll work together. I'll we'll, coordinate with yeah. you. I try to but, do yeah. all the shit that they don't have to do. I work very hard during the day just to make these guys like me. And well, the I love guys, they're super We're probably the one team that all lives right here. So it actually hangs out with each other, so. That's the other thing about people that are messaging you for tryouts and shit. It's gonna be Florida based only no matter what, no matter how good they are or whatever. Um, Cause one thing is like, I know this is when our team fell apart. We were the last Florida team and that kind of like killed me too. Cause like growing up it was like, there's four for, like pro Florida teams we could jump on. And it was nice and like that just kind of went away. And so like one thing that made me like really want to step up was to keep paintball alive in Florida. Cause once we died, I don't think there would've been another Florida pro team ever. I don't think anyone was ready to step up, so it'd be nice to like bring in some youth and mm -hmm. maybe grab like a farm team here and there or something. Awesome. Let's play. Yeah. Let's go shoot each other. Dude, shoot some guns. This ain't enough bunkering going on, you know? Let's do this with CJ, right? Oh. We don't oh. bunker each other. first practice honestly it, it wasn't so much about getting playing time or anything like that playing you know the best teams out there it was just dialing in the new guns the new gear we knew after shooting dive for five six years myself some of these guys seven eight years we truly needed to like just get a feel for what other stuff is out there we also learned a lot about new gear I mean it was kind of funny that I've been a professional paintball player for 13 14 years and I get a gun and I had no idea how to take the bolt out the first time I actually opened a manual in you know 14 years so it was really just about learning all the new gear and how we were gonna like work as a team without a manager or without a coach I know you ain't a cheater, but I'm like, oh, you sure? Check the, ah, uh, all right. But I want to let you do that. I know, I fucking, I came out and your two balls hit me. At the end of the season, 2014, MacDev decided to get together with Damage. And the team fell apart. Everybody was sad, I was sad. And then between MacDev and Virtue, we got together and we saved Damage and the guys are extremely happy and it was a perfect opportunity. Once Jason called me and me and Jason, we spoke and I told Jay, yeah, you know, I'll do anything to support you guys. You know, MacDev is gonna back you up, Virtue's gonna back you up. And he was like, yeah, you know, if you don't mind coming out here. And I was like, yeah, man, I'd love to play with you guys. You know, just give me the opportunity. And you know, the opportunity, that's easy. You know, the guys know me, they know what I could do. Everybody know who I am. I'm that guy that stays alive and I can get kills, you know? So coming out here this weekend and playing with these guys, it's, it's a great opportunity. It's gonna be great this year. I'm ready. But I was born ready though. My mom told me that, so you know how it goes. Shit! Huh? Okay. <laughs> Jerry, we looked at it like he's got, you know, an extended history of seven-man experience, and PSP kind of took in the role of, you know, no coaching, semi-auto. Jerry's Florida-based as well, so that truly helped out. And he also, he's just, you know, a bundle of entertainment. You know, Jerry is guaranteed a spot on our team. The other two, we had Lewis from Vicious and Kyle Berry, who's like a young and up-and-coming player. Um, Jacob, my younger brother, he plays every weekend, you know, from World Cup to now he's been playing. He said this kid Kyle's got a lot of skill and a lot of heart, and he wanted to see him come out and play with the guys. Lewis messaged me on Facebook and was just saying, you know, obviously Vicious fell apart and I really want to play paintball still. We know like we're all getting a little older, we're a little slower. It would be nice to have that, you know, guy that already has some pro experience in him and he's young and he's fast. And we need that number one guy to get in the snake. So we knew he would be a good person to bring out and see if he gelled well with the guys. All right, Kyle, Lewis, you guys are going to play each other one on one a couple of times. And then with no break, you're going to jump in and play Brian and Jacob one on one. Okay. I like playing gas people one on one. Already talking shit. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yay. Yay. Let's get them up. Shoot them, my guy. Shoot our guns. Come grab one of our guns, both of you. Go. Big difference. They do pretty much exactly the same. But this kid went with his left hand. Yep. All right, Lewis versus Jake. All right, again, again. All right. Hey, Kyle, go down here and just switch off guns with him. Yeah. Literally, I think the drills are just going to come into play this year, and we just need to all work with each other, like point out every little flaw and fight through it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So obviously this year is going to be a lot different. We're going into it with no coach. We're also going into it without Joey Blute as our manager. We did receive different messages and different outlooks on not having Joey. Some negative, some positive. The way I look at it is I have nothing against Joey. I've never had an issue with Joey. Joey's actually the reason that we are a team. I mean, he did bring us all together and he kept us on the team. So I have nothing negative to ever say about him. The only thing I've noticed about this year as I would say the guys are a little bit more loose with everything, you know. They think that they're going to be able to have more fun. And that's nothing against him or having a coach. I think it's just lets people make their own decisions and that's kind of what they wanted. LP, you want to play some? Sure. Oh. Sure. Top of your head too, or no? Go again. Yeah. Okay. Jerry, you're up. One thing I like about Jerry is he usually does stay alive a lot. Hit! Go! Yep! Don't shoot him so fast, it's time Brian kill. Oh! Yep! Good job. Good luck, Brian. I thought he moved. Thought he moved? Why make that move though? If I'm looking that way, you know? You wanna talk without him real quick? From what we saw, what do you guys think? I would say both of them are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think. Yeah, That's I think. The thing it, is, we definitely need to mold with them, like work with them more. Than yeah. They're good players. But you gotta understand, Don's really the Don's think that they, you know, they think it's like a trout, so they're kind of nervous and stuff like that. But they're yeah, still, yeah, yeah. especially like Kyle Kids, still plays good under pressure. Especially mm -hmm. if he came over and he, and he loves me, and this is like his dream. The way that he's playing is awesome. They understand too, like, it's pretty much you're on the team and you're practicing. You know, there won't be all that much play. But the way I looked at it, the six of us, if you look at it, the five of these six pretty much played almost every finals and everything anyway. Yeah. It's the way SK ran. It was like once it got to a certain extent, five of us played. And then it was just whoever flew in, Dalton, Mouse, etc. he would be like thrown into it. Mm -hmm. So even picking up people like this, it's good to have people who want to fight to be on the team. So as of right now, this is what we need. I think that these kids are This is what we need. Pretty and, yeah, they, and I think like a big piece of the puzzle that we're missing is the five on five teamwork aspect because 99% of this team's strong point is working together and knowing what each other's going to do and being able to communicate under pressure. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen any of that from these guys yet, really. We Tomorrow we'll get a better We look. just don't know, yeah. 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 Plus, like, they're nervous too, so like when we start playing with them, if you want to help other communication, like, talk to them and say, like, their name every time you call something out. Like, Weasel 2 Kyle. Yep. And Jerry, honestly, too, he kind of plays our style. He stays alive a lot, and, mm -hmm. you know, he's good at communicating. And I like both of these. And we just beat the shit out of them until they're good. I mean, yeah. that's how we all got good. Yeah. Jerry, come here. I'll tell you like this, you know. Don't get all emotional on me. No, 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 seriously, right. seriously, no, no. You know, I know. <laughs> For a long time, I always wanted to play on a real good team, you know. When I come and play against y'all, I get better. My snap is quicker, you know. I, I think more because, you know, you guys are so good. But it, but for me to get the opportunity to play with you guys, man, I'm going to give it everything I got because, you know, I got a lot to prove. You know, so, so obviously we've always ran 
like a start in five and everything. Like I'm not saying that you would never get playing time. You will get your playing time. Of course. But it's a trust thing too. And, hey, listen, and once listen. we eventually build that trust. Hey, listen, listen. You don't got to tell me best players play. Everybody know that. This yep. team is like we're all honest with each other. I'll yeah. come off and I'll say I'm not playing. That of day. course. Jake go in for me. Or whatever. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I understand, man. You guys been together forever and you guys got to gel. I know that, you know, you guys are the core guys. What do you think of these two? I think we're all impressed with both of them. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, we all like agree that they can be, both be a, a potential one or they are going to be one. So, I mean, if everybody's happy with it, I mean, not commit all the way, way, but yes, yeah. tell them, look, we're going to keep, keep bringing you back. We're going to keep giving you pain. You guys are cool with that? Yeah. I was just asking as a team thing. Like, I mean, yeah. just see how the first one goes. We might yeah, go in yeah, there and win. Right. Got, I mean, I'm planning on winning. Well, I mean, we got you guys. guys I don't want to fucking like win, dude. Got, all right, so the, the consensus is they're on the practice squad. They get these guns to practice with. They'll understand that. Yeah, I know where you're going. That's, that's more Kyle. Than else Kyle. Are we Lewis. Are we that? Is that good? Everyone like that? Yeah. All right. All right, so this is what we came up with. Obviously, it's only the first day of practice. However, uh, we know that time's low and you guys all are really impressive. Um, we also think we can work with you guys and help you guys as much as you can help us. Um, we're not offering you a full spot on the team as of right now. We're going to give you the gear, which I'll bring tomorrow, you know, gun and everything. It's, we're not gonna call it a practice squad. You're just gonna have to continue to earn your, your keep. Um, if it doesn't work out, everything's coming back because we are on a low budget. But the way you guys play today and you guys both seem extremely hungry, and as long as you do as we say, and you help us and we help you, I mean, I don't see there being any issue long-term. Okay, yeah, thank you guys. Cool. Seriously, thank you. Yep. Yeah, and there's no pressure. Don't ever yeah, that's think about like, oh, whatever. No, I messed up real bad. I'm gonna get like, whatever, kicked off the team. We're not really like that. So yeah. see People make mistakes make all the time, and I'd rather you see them make mistakes trying to go after and get it, so. Like, don't be hesitant, don't be afraid, don't be nervous, yeah, just right, have fun. We'll like, keep that's, improving. Yeah, yeah, that's all we want from everyone on the team is to have fun. So we've had so many years without fun, we're ready to, like, <laughs> have a lot of fun. So like our, fun. our biggest but thing now is, like, molding with you guys. So Dang, when we play with you guys, you're gonna have, we're going to be talking to you guys a lot. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just trying to get better, yeah. man. Seriously, just I want to grind. And this is really all it is. There's going to be roadblocks, there's going to be speed bumps and everything like that, but as a team, we'll fight through it. Understood. Cool. Hell yeah. Um, I appreciate it. Definitely. Thank you. And you're gonna go to the gym? Yeah. Hey, hey, working out with those sinners. I mean, you're playing next to me now. There's no fucking mercy. You mess up, I'm gonna tell you, you know. Yeah, shoot me back head. I think the two kids that Jake recommended are perfect. Normally, we wouldn't make a decision that fast. Well, we played with them just one day, and then, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't have one bad thing to say about one or the other. You can tell fairly quickly like how people's attitudes are. And both those kids are actually pretty cool. I think they're a perfect fit, to be honest with you. It's a real easy decision for me to say at the end of that practice, yeah, go ahead and just tell them now, because the event's coming up, and you know, I think that that's what it's gonna end up being, these two kids, so pick them up. They just love, you can tell they love paintball, like, and that's what you want. I know that if I take a weekend off, they're the kind of kids that are playing on a Saturday and a Sunday. It's kind of cool because it's kind of maybe when I was, you know, 15, 16 years old and I was playing every single weekend, every chance I got. Even when we're a couple of us are packing up, those kids are still out there. They still want to play. They're still staying on the field. They're like, oh, are we done yet? Yeah. I mean, they, they just like to play. First point. First point. Uh, hand on those. Seniority on down. Right. I know. I was out hey, on the gate you first. Pull that shit? <laughs> hey, boy, you hold the foot. I'll take that. Playing on damage, man, it's sweet. I go out there and I get one or two kills. That's all I need. If I get two, but that's a bonus because I already know they got two. You feel me? So being that I got a couple four kills and a couple three kills this weekend, I feel like I did great. I love it, man. Hey, what do I do? I love saying, hey, what you want me to do? It's a different ball game than when a guy saying, Jay, what, what should we do? Now it's me saying, hey, what y'all want me to do? Because, you know, I could go anywhere. Like, it don't matter. I'm also versatile. You know, I'm not as fast as I used to be but I'm faster than most of y'all, so, you know, most of the guys out there, you know, probably not Mouse, but everybody else, you know, you know, you know what I could do.
someone caught you in the side on your way across. Yep. Yeah, it broke. But I, uh, it broke? Yeah. <laughs> hey, the only thing on that is keep an eye on Brian because he switched. That would make you the only gun looking this way, so you shouldn't even push it. Like, just get to the snake one and chill. Okay. Because I think you got caught going to snake one and up, right? Yep. So what yep. you want to do is get here and just protect Brian. Because eventually they're going to come for him. Uh -huh. They need to, at least. Holmes this way! Holmes this way! Holmes this way! Hey, weasel the hole! We What happened? I shot, I shot the gap, shot the lane. As soon as I check off your back center like this, first ball hit me in the hook. The guy in your mirror? Yeah, my mirror. Okay. Yeah. So I wanted to see what he was shooting, so I shot the gap. He was in. As soon as I came out like this, before I even got out, it was right here. Okay, it, it happens. Don't worry about it. Keeps it. happening. Keeps happening. Yeah. Yeah. They can see. Like your barrel tip sticking out, right? They can see your barrel, so where do you think they're going to be shooting? Yep. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Okay. Hey, go again, Kyle. Kyle, Kyle! Kyle, find a shot on the Bravo! All right. Hey, you said three or four hundred. Kyle, did you say three or four? Hey, one more time, Kyle. Three or four. Three hundred Bravo. Kill two for sure. All right, Weasel two, three hundred and Bravo. Hey, Weasel three at home. Weasel four. You can tell that they know when they messed up or they're humble enough. But the biggest thing is they definitely had the right gun skills and they definitely knew how to play paintball. They knew, they knew how to talk. So that's a big thing for us. But it's nice because before we've always had structure outside of us. The managers always made the structure of the team saying like, okay, this is what we're going to do there, here, here, and here. Now everything is more or less a team decision, meaning that we all get together and talk about, you know, picking up new players, and when to practice, who to practice. Jason's taken on a lot of that, but for the most part, every decision is made as a team. Everyone's just so excited. I think everyone's just ready to run down people. Player Christmas. That's the gear bag. That he just broke. Most important thing in the bag goggle spray. A pack? How about that? New Bunker King pack? I don't even think I've seen one of these yet. Boom. Virtue pants? No, that's a backpack. Oh, right? No, for sure. Oh, okay. Huh? Okay. Timmy got hit with a golf ball yesterday. It wasn't anything real hard, nothing that took him out of the game, but because he's a pro. Kills anyway, right? Yeah, exactly. Pretty dog. What do you have to say about Chad leaving you guys? Chad? Obviously, he misses us, right? We didn't come to him, he came back to us just for a day of practice. <laughs> There's like 50 fields around here, and he still seems to show up wherever we are. I love the way it fits and it's not really loose. I don't feel like, man, I hit the ground, it's gonna come off because it really fits my face. It, it's kind of like this one was made for me and it's kind of crazy that I think that way, you know? Probably, they, they probably souped it up, you know, just for me. They ain't telling me, did it on the low. They said, this one's Jerry's. I love the fact that I will never have to pull a strap ever again. Ever again will I have to pull that strap. So it's making me that much faster. Who gone. That's it, I'm in a snake. Oh, damn, I'm in a snake four. 
So Newman, the the, uh, the owner of Virtue, he was out playing with us, and I think he had a good time. We had a good time with him. I think we threw him a little bit everywhere just to see, you know, what he really wanted to do. And sometimes we didn't even give him an option. We just throw him in the snake or in the corner. But I, I think he had a good time. Did he okay. suck? Give, give us an opinion on his skill. No, actually, I was kind of surprised. I was like, you know, he was reliable. I'd be like, you want to run and shoot to the corner? He was like, yeah. And then I'd be like, hey, you were good that game. He was like, yeah. I was like, all right, awesome.